So you got some guitar effects pedals and you might be wondering what order do you put all these things in and does it really matter? Hi there, I'm Owen Vickers from Guitar Mastery Method. We have taught tens of thousands of guitarists all around the world just like you how to improve their guitar playing and their guitar knowledge. Today I'm going to show you how I go about setting up my pedals. Before we get started, just one thing that I want to point out is a very common saying that rules were made to be broken and this definitely applies to pedal order. You'll find that someone who says that a pedal order has to go this way, you might try it that way and it may just not work for you. Sometimes switching around the order of pedals, putting something into the effects loop or in front of the amp, which I'll show you later, may make all the difference to the sound that you're looking for. There are a couple of places that it's good to start from. In front of your amp, if you've got an effects loop, you might want to put things like your tuner, your wah pedal, overdrives, boosts, and modulation pedals like chorus, flange, phases, tremolos, those sorts of things. If you do have an effects loop, then time-based effects, so delays and reverbs, are best to put in the loop. Now, of course, as I just said, rules are made to be broken. Some people definitely prefer the sound of a delay or even a reverb in front of their amp as opposed to in their effects loop. Some people also like putting their modulation effects in the effects loop. So your phases, your choruses in the loop instead of in front of the amp. Try all the different variations out and see what works for your sound. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day is getting the sound that you are the happiest with. Let's have a look at some pedals. All right, so we've got some fairly common pedals here uh, as in function, not necessarily in the brands. Some you may have seen before, some you may not have. Starting out here, we've got an overdrive pedal. This is a hot cake, a Hall of Fame reverb pedal, a boost pedal from Red Witch, a wah pedal, EVH wah pedal, a electronic tuner, a delay pedal, and a phase pedal. So this is basically going to cover all our modulation, so phase, chorus, tremolo, that kind of thing. If I was setting up these pedals straight into the front of my amp, so not using an effects loop, if we go the guitar from this end and the amplifier from this end, this is the order that I would put my pedals in. So why this particular order? Well, let's start here with the tuner. I like to have my tuner so that the only thing going into it is my unaffected guitar signal so that I know that I'm getting the most accurate representation of the tuning of my guitar. It's also good with most tuners, if you turn them on, it'll cut your signal. So you can use it to mute out, especially if you're playing into a high gain amp. It'll mute out your signal and keep things nice and quiet if you're changing guitars or between songs. I then like to have my wah right at the front of the, the chain. So the signal coming out of my tuner, if that's turned off, then it's pretty much, because it's true bypass, it's going straight to my wah. I just find it gets the cleanest sound for me. After that, I'd like to put my boost pedal. Now this could go there, or it could go there. Maybe even in there. And I'll explain why in a second. Got my overdrive pedal here before my modulation and my time based effects. If I put the boost before the overdrive pedal, if I have the overdrive pedal on and I engage the boost, it's not going to make much difference to the volume, but it is going to increase the signal going into the overdrive, which means I'm going to get more gain or more distortion. So that can be good if you want a heavier sound. After the drive, I like to put my modulation effects so that the signal that's going into, particularly the phaser, can be a distorted sound already. You may find it works better having that before your distortion. I just prefer to have it after the distortion, just a different sound, um, possibly a dirtier sound, which I sort of like with a distorted type of, you know, Van Halen type phase sound. After that, I like to have my time effects, so my delays and my reverbs. I find that if you put these pedals, especially before your overdrives, they can get really mushy. 
Um, I like a nice clean sounding delay at the end of my signal path, but of course, as I said before, rules are made to be broken. So try them out in all different areas and just see what works for you. But with this set of pedals, this is how I would set them up. All right, so I've set up a few of these pedals just to show you how the order of them can affect your sound. I'm playing into a clean amp. Here's my clean sound. Nice and clean. Now I'll just go through and put each one of those pedals on and you can see what the difference it makes is. So clean sound. So you see the volume of that has gone up a lot and it's added a little bit of drive as well. So that could be good if you want to, um, if you're playing clean. You want to go into a solo, clean solo. So really cool for that sort of effect. Next along we've got the overdrive, so play clean, kick that on, we get quite a dirty sound. As I said before, if we now put on the boost, it won't make much of a difference to the volume, but it will give us more gain. So I'll just switch that in and out. Right, so really good for adding a little bit of extra grunt for your solos. The phaser, so clean sound. Just a nice sort of a washy sound. Now if we put on our overdrive going into the phaser, See what that sounds like. Cool lead sound. So let's put some more drive by using the boost. So a whole lot of different sounds you can get out of just those three pedals. Of course the old delay pedal. Got it set for a few repeats there, pretty quick repeats. So if we now put on the boost and the delay. Nice 
Nice little lead sound there as well. All right, let's try the overdrive and the delay. Now remember this is into the front of the amp, not using the effects loop at all. the boost so into the front of the end the delay it's got a little bit of a darker sound you'll hear later on when I put it into the loop that it can sound very different, um, a lot more clear in the loop, but that may not be the sound you're going for. Remember, breaking the rules. Well, uh, let's try the reverb into the front of the amp. Nice, chuck on a bit of delay. Now if we put on the overdrive now, Very cool sound, let's chuck some boost on. A bit of phase, delay, and reverb. All right, so I have gone ahead and I've put the delay and the reverb into the effects loop of my amp. So the effects loop send of my amp is going to the in of my delay and the out of my reverb is going to the effects loop return. So this plug out of the phase is going into the front of my amp. And this is a clean sound. So it sounds about the same. Now, the, obviously these three pedals at the start will be no different just because we put something in the return of the effects loop. Let's just try the delay now that it's in the loop. So to my ears, and hopefully this is coming through on YouTube, it's a lot more hi-fi sounding, a lot more clean and more highs coming out of the delay. Let's try the reverb as well. 
So also to me sounds a lot cleaner in the return which if that's the sound you're looking for then that's the way to do it if you prefer the other sound then by all means put it into the front of the amp let's now try putting on the drive pedal with the delay and the reverb in the loop So again, to me, that just sounds cleaner with the uh, delay and the reverb. So what about if we put the drive channel on? Let's just turn these off. Clean channel. Drive. Put the delay on. So once again, that sounds a lot cleaner to me than into the front of the amp. Let's try the reverb. So once again, quite clean sounding reverb there. Even though there was a lot of drive on, the reverb still didn't get too mushy. I hope you enjoyed that quick tour how I would set up that particular set of pedals. Remember, try all the different iterations you can of putting pedals in different orders. Try things in the loop, try things into the front of the amp, mix it up and see what works for you. If you could just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, you'll see all of our new videos coming up. If you want to find out your number one guitar progress killer, I'll put a link in the description box down below to a quiz on our website. It'll only take you 30 seconds and it will find and fix the biggest roadblock to your guitar playing progress. See you in the next lesson.